Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous day. Today I got a pretty cool video for all of you free to plays out there, veterans, whoever. I'm gonna help you guys with an efficient farming guide for this new update because we have a lot of new things here to talk about. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, tick that notification bell, and leave it a like. Again, as I say in all my videos, let's try to crack 100 likes on this video. Recently today, I've gotten a lot, and when I say a lot, I've gotten a lot of DMs uh, to talk about how to farm this entire update like efficiently. So today, that's what I'm here to do. First thing though, uh, we're gonna go for like the most simplest thing. A surprise gift has arrived. Make sure you guys do go uh, and claim your gifts. Uh, we get three gems for maintenance and we do in fact get the secret box. The code is demon. It is D-E-M and as the O, you put a zero instead and N, it again gives you a part two ticket. It's pretty cool. So make sure you guys do go claim that. But over here, I'm gonna help you guys out with this entire new disaster battle that we have. First of all, the exchange shop is pretty stacked. You guys are getting a lot of cosmetics, a lot of upgrade materials and stuff like that. So make sure you guys do start working on this. It will take you guys not that long to actually complete this. I have done about four or five uh, boss battles today and I've gotten at least 213. I could practically clear out the entire uh, first tab and get all the cosmetics, uh, so yeah. But there is something really special within this event. It will be under the Easton tab. Go over here. If you guys are able to complete this on Extreme, this is the fastest one to complete on Extreme. Again, you get 72 gems altogether. So this is a big gem uh, farming guide, I guess you can say, because you first get the 72 initial gems from the entire update, but there is a way to turn your materials into gems. For this, it does require a good amount of Awakening Stones, and again, it does require a good amount of gold. With this entire thing, it is really, really efficient for farming materials. Again, you're getting Awakening Stones. This is the only thing in the game that you can actually farm Awakening Stones from, given it is this Awakening Stone, uh, and you are walking away with treasure chests. So for this, you are walking away with a good amount of gold, but a lot of people have been comparing this over here to the special dungeon in the special dungeon 48 uh stamina will in fact get you about the similar rewards you will have this forever this is what my entire theory is fort solgris is here forever in my opinion it will be more lucrative to go and farm disaster battles right now and in two days you should be touching fort solgris or again i think like three days you should go and do fort solgris because it does have half stamina. For right now, though, I highly recommend you guys do take a look at this one. Start working on this. Start grinding this. Given you are going to be using a lot of stamina pods for a free-to-play uh, player like myself, I do have, I believe, like, what? Yeah, 97 stamina pods. We've been getting a lot of free stamina pods from our dailies. If you've been doing them, I can always just go to the shop and cop some of the stamina pods. I have a lot of coins. I think, yeah, I have 928 coins. That translates into 928 stamina pots, which is obscene. That's, that's insane to think about. Also, also, if you go for this, I also have a ton of coins and I have them all saved up. I've been sending it daily. I'll have a ton of coins over here if I go and collect them all. A lot of them might actually start leaving soon. So I think I should start collecting them. Yeah, I believe it leaves in three hours. I got to start collecting them. So I'll go and cop out all of these, cop out some stuff from here. And then again, take a look at what I got. But for right now, I highly recommend you guys do take a look at this. In my opinion, this is the best team to farm this. This is the team I was recommended, so I'm recommending it to you guys as well. Lost Vein, uh, Escanor in the middle, and go for Hauser. Again, I literally just upgraded Jericho for this entire video for this farming. I did take a few rotations around this. Again, I got to put some gear on her. I don't have her awakened. Also, I have to upgrade my Hauser, and it'll be a super fast completion. Uh, again, this is the best team you guys can go for. Most of you do have Hauser if you are free to play. But you guys can exchange Lost Vein for a few characters here. You can exchange Lost Vein for Sauriel and any other attack on all. It'll be a little bit harder to grind with a different character. But again, you can just use the characters you guys have leveled up at this moment in time. Uh, Kyo might be a pretty good uh, exchange unit because he does have an attack on all. Plus, he is a strength. That is Jericho's passive. It creates where you get a 10% buff on attack for anyone with the strength attribute. Which again, everyone read. You guys can use them with this team and make them super super uh, strong and super, super good. If you don't have Lost in a Sariel, it will be a little bit more difficult, I guess I could say, to clear this because you kind of need an attack on all. Right now, I want to show you guys what uh, happens when you do clear this. Again, it's going to take two stamina pots. 10 clears on this is about 200 um, stamina. So right now, I'm going to use my auto skip tickets to show you guys. Again, dude, I know I've been saving these up. But just for you guys, I'm going to be using this to show you what 10 rotations look like. Again, 200 uh, stamina without half stamina on Fort Solgris. You guys are walking away with what? Barely, barely four rotations before you guys get two stamina pots used. Because again, 48 you times that by four. It's around 
a little bit below 200. So you guys are getting four rotations in using your base stamina and then using uh, one stamina pot. So this is what 10 clears looks like. Pretty good rewards, some pretty good rewards. So there you go. After the 10 clears, you're walking away with, I would say, a ton of awakening materials. Again, maybe you're a veteran player. You don't even need chalices. You can end up selling the chalices if you really wanted to. You can sell your blue books if you don't need them. For this example, I only locked away with, I believe, one awakening stone, which is pretty bad. But again, you still have a chance of grinding uh, gold while getting awakening stones, while getting some materials for free to play players. For this, I currently recommend this one just because you are walking away with a ton of materials as well. If you're already stacked on materials, you can take a look at waiting and saving your stamina pots for um, Fort Solgris. But this event will only be here for a week or two. So I would highly recommend take advantage of it. You'll always have Fort Sogris. All right, now that you guys saw what it looks like to clear that 10 times, I kind of want to show you what it looks like to clear this a few times. I know I am not definitely going to use that many stamina pots on this. I will just do two clears, or I think I can do three clears. Three clears with this. I'm doing this many. So technically speaking, you can run this one time or run the disaster battle event two and a half times. So think of it like that. With this exact amount, you can technically make seven rotations on the disaster event. So I'm just a little bit off. Let's jump into it. Let's see what we get over here with our three skip tickets. Okay, so there you go. We get this ad. I'm not going to watch the ad right now. Here we go. We get three SR chests, six SR chests, and then one SSR, three SR, and one SR. So taking a look at this, given this is technically, technically seven runs, it's again, not bad, but... The only time I would suggest free to plays run this is just for half stamina. Reminder, you guys should around have about like 50 stamina pots. Let's say I just recommend you guys grind this for the next three days using about 25, maybe even more stamina pots on the stage. And then during half stamina, I suggest you guys go and grind that. Get up your gold and turn that into gems. Now, for anyone that does not know how to turn this into gems, all you guys got to do is level up your equipment to five star. Again, it does take a good amount of gold. It does take a good amount of awakening uh, stones. But this is the only technical way in this entire game to farm. Again, because you can't really farm dailies. There is a set amount of dailies you can get with this. This is the only variable you can change in the game where you can farm gems. What you guys got to do is once you get that gold, once you sold off all of your uh, treasure chest you've got in your gold you've got in your awakening stones you take your gold over here and you guys again make sure you're doing your daily free on this i, I kind of forgot about this but watch me get trash on it nice dude beautiful beautiful man this is how you efficiently turn your gold into hammers awakening stones even some gear here and there that you guys might need you take a few rotations on this only only when it is on buff events when it says eight percent those are the days, those are the weeks you will be using all of your gold on this to receive Awakening Stones, other things. Turn that gold into gems, into materials to help you out. Reminder, going from my account to show you an example, I spent 100 million, I think when the last time we had the rate up event. After spending 100 million, I practically walked away with about 225 uh, five star stones. I believe I've spent a good amount now that, again, I've spent a lot recently, so this will not show exactly what it was. I also walked away with about, like, 300, if I can find it. I walked away with about 300 of these two. I walked away with a ton of four-star or three-star blue stones, and I walked away with a good amount of two-star stones. I don't have that many one-star stones, but they really don't matter as much. So let's say we turn this into a five-star. It'll cost only 15 stones. So given I have 153, I can get 10 gems from this that easily. It does cost a good amount of these stones. So make sure you guys are getting them when you're doing the gear gotcha. You're going to be walking away with a ton of them. So you don't even have to worry about that. For a free to play player, I highly recommend you don't do this just for the gems. Just progress on your account. Level up the units you need to. Level up the gear that is good for your units. Before you go UR, I recommend you have multiple sets of SSR gear. Again, I highly recommend you wait on the UR for a little bit. Wait until the one drops. Wait until we see uh, what the next banners are looking like. But yeah, to sum up everything in this video, to not keep you guys here for too long, start using half of your stamina pots on Disaster. Don't use too many, but use half of them. Save the other half for 
uh the half stamina days which will be in fort Solgris. when that day starts i want to see every single person hammering out fort Solgris, just grinding that continuously i don't want to see you touching the game other than just grinding let that auto farm you guys will be walking away with so so much gold by the end of it do not miss out on those days that's been it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out a ton before i leave take care of your time attack there are a few gems in here that you guys might miss out on also, for everyone asking for an update of my knighthood, I will be kicking out a few members here and there because there are, like, I think three, four inactive people. So I will be kicking them out today. If you guys would like me to save you a spot, I will put this on private. Just send me a message over on Twitter. Let me know in the comments. I will put it on private, and I will set it to where you guys can join. That's been it for me. Enjoy, everyone. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, noties on. Hope this video helped you out a ton. Peace out. Good luck on your grinds. Good luck on your auto farming. Let me know what you're doing down below in the comments. I'll let you guys go. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm out. Laters.